Okay, welcome back in for another episode of 3R. Uh, obviously, I am your host on this and co-host of Gen X Jutebox. I just got done watching a sound check uh, slash meet and greet type thing in the back room of an auditorium or arena where Kiss was playing a few days ago in Nashville. And what I find extremely entertaining is uh, they started out with Plaster Caster. And when it was through, Paul gets on the mic or grabs the mic and he said, uh, obviously, you know, we're not really playing or singing or singing and playing something to that effect, to which people just started laughing. I find this fucking awesome. The fact that they were acting like these accusations weren't out there bothered me. But as I put in a previous uh, video about a meet and greet type uh, little show they put on uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I put it out. They sound great. Clearly they're playing and singing as i stated in that video you don't have any kind of fancy high-tech editing overdubbing you know backtracking capabilities in a little back of an auditorium so again as i stated in that video all you naysayers can eat it and uh it's just funny that it's almost like they're starting to say you know what motherfuckers enough is enough and i just loved it i absolutely loved seeing paul take his shot uh and that goes out to the eddie trunks of the world that goes out to the stupid horrific excuse of a youtuber in sink and stanley's of the world you know if all you guys have to do with your lives is go out and try to find something negative about somebody else. That's pure jealousy. That's pure lack of a life. And, uh, at the end of the day, kiss wins. The fans win. Just enjoy this band while we can. And, uh, with that, I'd like to also say Ace Freely's got on uh, an article out i read on blabbermouth and it's gotten to the point where i almost can't stand this man <clears throat> which is a shame because i was always an ace fan but he's out there again saying that this album's gonna make paul look like an imbecile and basically saying you gotta check out the article but it's basically saying he says crap like well i've been they call me a drunk and a drug addict and, and unreliable or undependable. And if that's the case, how come I have five albums and I've been touring steadily for 10 years as if that erases everything that's well-documented that he has pulled since the beginning of the band. Um, just ludicrous. And uh, in, in rebuttal again to the piss comment, from Paul, he's like, well, this this will show him this album's gonna make him look like an imbecile. Whatever, dude. Uh, to me, it's time for him to get over it. He clearly can't let it go. Him and his little camp of Eddie Trunk and and whoever else wants to glom on to that side of the camp. More power to him, but he's the one looking like an imbecile here. Uh, Paul, Gene, Kiss, Kiss fans, they, they don't give a shit about Ace Freely and his grievances. They, they just don't. They all know. We all know what he's done. We all know what Paul and Gene have done. We all know what Peter's done. Nobody's perfect. But you need to get past it. You need to get over it. And uh, if the only reason you're making albums is to try to stick it to Kiss and try to prove something to Paul and Gene, you're in this business for the wrong reason, dude. And you should be doing this for you. You should be doing this for your fans. That's it. You know, and to make a bold statement, he said, this is probably his best album to date. Now that's a bold statement because of course the 78 solo album is 
remarkable. Uh, the debut uh, Freely's Comet album was really good, really strong. Um, second sighting was hit or miss, and uh, Trouble Walking was pretty decent. But everything he's done since then is Space Invader and and uh, should I've even forgot? See what I'm saying? There's nothing memorable that he's done. So to come out and say because you're writing with Trickster's uh, Steve Brown, I think, uh, co-writing these songs that it's going to be better than anything you've ever done. Well, I hope it is. I really do. That would be so cool. But again, whether it is or not is, or is not a success, a great album, whatever the case, it ain't going to affect Paul or Gene. They're not losing sleep over whether or not your solo album is going to be somehow showing up kiss, which it's not. I mean, just get over it ace seriously um we're all tired of hearing it we're all tired of reading your headlines uh and it's about time kiss starts fighting back in the press i absolutely love it and again i i'll put a link down below to the video i watched uh whoever was filming it <clears throat> there's some kind of audio problem with the, whatever they were recording it with i'm assuming a phone or whatever because it's really good for like the first half of the first song then all of a sudden it gets muffled almost like they put the phone under something i don't know but uh, you can still make it out you can still hear they sound good it's a fun fun time i'd love to be at one of those backstage performance type things unfortunately i would couldn't afford and wouldn't afford something like that but uh yeah it, it was just hilarious seeing paul say that i loved it the band looked like they were all having fun and good spirits so Keep the drive alive as long as we can. Um, I don't have much else to add. I'm just, like I said, I'm kind of going in all directions here with the social media stuff, with the YouTube channels, with my personal life, with my job. I mean, I just, I've got so much going on right now that, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm definitely going to stick to it, but this might be kind of the mo from here on out is just these quick you know updates and and uh you know not necessarily just bringing you the news but uh when it comes to music it's real tough uh to be a youtube channel uh because it's so subjective and unless you're into the popular music, the Taylor Swift's, the, the hip hops, the fucking whatever the flavor of the month is, which I'm not. Um, I think I stated this before. There's just not a lot of, a lot of interest out there and you guys all got busy lives. People got busy lives. So it's nowadays, everybody's just watching quick shorts, which, which is fine. I guess for people who enjoy that type of thing, I guess, I've always and still do enjoy sitting down and listening to a podcast for an hour, hour and a half. I, I love it, uh, but that's me. It's not for everybody. So uh, it's just a lot for me to put aside an hour, uh, come up with a topic that I hope will interest everybody, uh, go through two hours of uploading and editing. Uh, it's not that I don't love it. I absolutely do. I'm actually addicted to the process, but at the end of the day, when you're pulling in 40, 30 of views, no comments, um, no interaction, no, I mean, you look at the, the channel analytics when you have a channel and it's mostly non repeat viewers. In other words, even if people subscribe, it's like they don't come back and ever watch a video again, because most of the views are people who are not subscribed and. I'm not going to be one of those guys who starts out the video for, you know, three minutes talking about like subscribe, do all this. It helps my channel that I just, cause that annoys me as a podcast watcher. I'm like, dude, it's 2023. I think we all know that if we want your content and don't want to miss it, we should subscribe. We should hit the bell. We could, you know, all that stuff. So it's just not my style to be a beggar like that, <clears throat> but I've been doing this for months now. And it's been fun. It's been satisfying for me. But uh, at the end of the day, 
I might just have to take it down a notch and, and just reach out and keep in touch with you guys about some music stuff. Uh, me and Darren will still be doing the Gen X thing. Um, but like I said, branching more out into other areas of Gen X other than music, just because like, like I discussed before our, our generation, although it's the greatest generation, there doesn't seem to be a lot of dedication, uh, to holding on to it. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest in reliving it, listening to people talk about it. So I had aspirations to build this into a bigger deal, but, uh, reality is a bitch, right? Uh, and sometimes you just need to be slapped around and slapped down and realize that sometimes just do it for yourself because not everybody's going to have success. And that's fine. I do enjoy it. And if I have a topic I'll really, really, really want to talk about, I sure will jump on for an hour, hour and a half, but it just seems like the longer the episodes, the fewer the views, the fewer, the less interest. So it is what it is. Uh, when I get kiss tidbits, I will pop on because my kiss viewers on here are definitely by and large, the most loyal, uh, for coming back and, and, and watching the content. And I appreciate all of you when it comes to anything else, there just seems to be so little interest in a decade of music that will stand as probably the most influential and the most memorable decade ever. They're just, they're just it's like the people are. I don't know, maybe they're too busy watching football and drinking beer and whatever. But I appreciate those of you who've held in here, and this will remain. I will keep 3R going. It's just if you're wondering why they're getting shorter, that's why. I, I, I find, like, I love, I could talk for two hours and enjoy it. But if nobody's watching, you know, I'll, I'll just shorten it up, get to the point, and call it a day so yeah awesome that paul stood up and called out all the haters hilarious and uh ace it's a bitter bitter pill but you better swallow it and you better move on and just enjoy your career and forget about what paul and gene think it's just not worth it dude life's too short just be thankful you were with that band to make this name for yourself that you can have a solo career now and just be done with it. Anyway, appreciate you all watching. And until next time, I'll see you.